Welcome back to Chaos Collectibles. So it's been a while since I've been on here and I've just been busier than shit and really haven't picked up too much lately. However, I did just get something in the mail today. Buddy Oliver ended up reaching out to me and asked me to paint up a couple figures for him. So in return, I picked up a couple figures um, as a trade-off. So I just received that stuff today. So let's take a look at what I've picked up here. So the first thing is a Prometheus. I'm actually going to send this out to a buddy of mine um, who's really hooked me up with a lot of deals and stuff. So I actually got this one for him for painting this figure right here. So I'm going to prime this bad boy this weekend. Something that Oliver threw together. Um, unfortunately, the dude's leg is broken. It showed up that way. Looks like it's a clean break. Um, I ended up sending the pictures to him, so he should be able to fix that okay, but I'm just going to have to make sure that I wrap that other leg up separate from the one that it's in, and I'll box this stuff up real nice for him, pack it up real good. Um, there's a helmet here. Freaking helmet's huge. And then he's got a head. I mean, this is a huge freaking figure. I mean, look at the size of this thing compared to a Zolo World figure. I mean, we'll set it side by side here. I mean, that thing's a freaking freaking mammoth of a figure so i'll be sure to get that out to him anyhow i got this dog here and his foot showed up beat up so he said he'll resend me the dog um but i mean i might just be able to i just got some epoxy sculpt for my birthday so i'm gonna try to see if i can just re-sculpt the extra foot on there See if I can fix that. That dog's pretty cool, though. You know, check that thing out, man. Two-headed freaking dog. And I also picked up this Medusa back here. It's a little smaller than I thought, but it'll still look cool with the figures. Snake hair. Just got a, a bow with some arrows and stuff that I still have in a little box. But also got this, this Conan head here. Because the Conan that I got, which is right here, pretty freaking cool figure. Um... Doesn't scale too well. I mean, it's pretty small compared to the, the Zolo figures. So I'm gonna put this body, I'm gonna grind that neck off, use a magnet and see if I can make a Zolo Conan. Um, and then the other thing that I picked up is, is this guy right here. You guys may know this figure right here is the Walter Harris um, punch out figure that has been modded by somebody. And uh, looks pretty cool, I mean, all resin hand comes off all all done in magnets so i'm gonna pull this head off because there is a, an extra head here got to be careful with this stuff um but yeah there, uh, this is the head that i like just got a cyborg freaking head so that's pretty cool to see the metal skull and stuff in there so i'm gonna paint this up for him as well so in return for this one he's gonna print me another one of these off so for painting this bad boy and sending it to him, he's going to send me a new figure just like this so I can paint one for myself. So what I'll do is, is once I get done with these figures, it's probably going to take me a few weeks because I got so much stuff going on with work and everything. But uh, I, I plan on doing a video to kind of show you guys the finished product of these two figures here. And uh, I did get something else in the mail. I got some heads that are pretty freaking cool. Like that. Okay, so... I got this elephant head, and it seemed to be pretty small. I mean, I'm telling you, I just don't learn, do I? So skeleton head seems to be pretty small. So I end up getting this mammoth scale one, but that may be just a little bit too big for these Zolo figures. I mean, maybe I might be able to make it work, but I figure, you know, that'd be pretty pretty cool, but it may be a little, a little much, a little much. But if it was like right in between the two sizes of these, it'd be perfect. I also got a couple um, heads sitting over there um ogre scale they, they have like uh, helmets and stuff i mean they look cool but again they're just too big but i did have i came across this guy i wish he had some of the mythic legion stuff but he doesn't mostly gi joe and uh dude actually scaled this up for me he sent me the original that he sent me i don't know where it's at back is right here he sent me the wrong head but it's like way too freaking small Way too freaking small. This is the head I actually wanted. Um, so I paid for that on eBay. 
and I talked to him a little bit and he was actually able to scale it up. And this is actually the head I initially ordered, but he sent me this one. So, I mean, I'm out the money for this one, but whatever. I mean, it was worth getting a cool head here that's gonna fit perfect. So check out that freaking zombie head. Pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, I just wanted to get on here and kind of show you guys this stuff here. A um, little bit of work I got ahead of me. It's gonna take me a little bit to get this stuff done, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. So thanks again for tuning in, everybody. I hope you all have an awesome day. Until next time.